Hello friends. In this video, we will look at uh, some transformers in the multimodal space, uh, mainly uh, the text and computer vision. Okay, text and images. All right, uh, the standard Python libraries and the transformers from Hugging Face. Uh, now, couple of these models require Textract and PyTextract, Tesseract and PyTesseract. Uh, so uh, you might need to install those libraries as well. So here we have a couple of uh, images uh, to understand what these models does. So the first one, uh, we have seen this as part of computer vision, uh, some two cats and two remotes lying on a couch. And then this one has two birds. And the third one, uh, this image called Lena, okay, or Lena. <laughs> All right. So the first task is this image captioner, or it's sometimes also called image to text. Okay. All right. Here we are choosing a specific model and then call it with an image as an input. Okay. Call the image captioner uh, with image as an input. And here we can define the maximum number of tokens. Okay. So token means roughly words. Okay. So it described the parrot's image as two birds are standing next to each other. Two birds are standing next to each other. That looks reasonably right. Uh, well, actually quite accurate. And for the cat image, it said a cat lying on a blanket next to a cat lying on a bed. Uh, let's see if there is a blanket. Well, there is no bed, but it is accurate to the extent that a cat lying next to another cat, even though there is no bed, okay? And for the Lena image, it says a woman in a hat and hat covering her face, okay? Well, the hat is not covering her in full face. But again, these are really uh, uh, very reasonable, right? I mean, we are giving this image as an input. The computers uh, are this ML models. They are somehow able to understand what's in the image and explain to us uh, in the form of text. That's quite great. And the second one, the visual question answering. Okay. So R V Q A. Now this one takes two arguments. One is uh, the image, and then we can ask a question. Okay. All right. So to the cat image, uh, we are asking: Is there a remote? Okay. Now the model has returned: Yes, there is a remote, and I am very certain. Okay. Uh, let me see what this does is equal to score answer no okay i see yeah so it's going to answer either yes or no what if i do three answer one what does that mean all right anyway we are interested in the answer with the highest confidence uh, so it said, uh, is there a remote? Uh, the model said, yes, there is a remote and I am very confident about it. Now to the carrot, to the parrot, oh, we are still using the cat image. Uh, we asked the question, is there a parrot? Okay. The model said, no, there is no parrot and I am very sure about it. Okay. And this time we are using the parrot image and we are asking the same question. Is there a parrot? The model says, yes, I am very confident that there is a parrot right now this time we are using the lena image and we are asking what is she wearing okay so this is not a simple yes or no type question right as uh, these four uh, three or four questions we are asking is is it there or not but now we are asking what is there it's a much more difficult and challenging question right so it's saying there is a hat uh, 
there is fedora clothes sun hat nothing i mean all these are again very low confidence but the model is uh, saying uh, there is a hat and i am very sure about it uh, this image uh, well this hat uh, is dominating the image so the model has detected i guess uh, the hat and then uh, we are asking is this a person the model again said yes i am very confident about it now is this a man the model said no it's not a man right so it's quite interesting that uh, we can here we can give image as an input we can ask uh, a machine learning model to describe uh, what the image is right so these ones uh, um, are very useful for uh, those uh, visually impaired or visually challenging people right so they can give uh, the image as an input ask the model to describe them uh, what it is now we don't have to be this maximum 20 tokens if the image contain lot of information we can increase the number of tokens so they can get a more detailed description of the image as well now similarly uh, this one can also of great help right we can uh, give an image as an input and we can ask a number of questions right what is there in the image what is not there uh, uh, etc and the third one the document uh, question answering now this is very similar to uh, the image one but this time uh, instead of image we have documents uh, which contain some data maybe in the form of key value pairs tables etc etc okay so we choose the model as dqa document question answering and then uh, again we are providing the document in the form of image and asking a question what is the total amount so first let's look at uh, this uh, document so let me copy the url i should have shown the image in the notebook all right so this is an invoice and we have asked the model uh, what is the total amount the model has replied 154 dollars 06 cents uh, and also the confidence very high so let's look at 154.06 so that's the total amount right so from this uh, document in the form of a image the model is using a number of libraries by like tesser Tesseract, PyTesseract, etc., and also the ML model to extract the text or answer of the questions. All right, and then uh, I think we are using the same document here, but this time we are asking what is the invoice number? It said it's US-001. Again, very very confident. Uh, the invoice number, yeah. So it is here. It is. So the invoice number is US-001 right so the model answered uh, this question also accurately all right and the final one uh, which is at the core of all the i guess the transformers which is this uh, the features uh, extraction or this embedding vector right so here the task is the feature extraction and we are using uh, this BERT model from Facebook okay so here we are providing some text and we are asking it to uh, we are asking the model to give us uh, the vector right this uh, word embedding vector uh, which is typically some thousand plus dimension so as you can see here uh, it's a vector or an array uh, in a very very high dimension space so different models have different uh, vector size now for example let's look at another model so here we have this bird uh, model and again uh, we are extract uh, we are using the model uh, for this feature extraction task okay so this same model uh, can be used for some other tasks okay so the feature extraction now again we provide some text now the vector size is not dependent on the text size okay so the given input it's going to be translated into a point or a vector in this 
a high dimensional space now whether this input has one word or multiple words or if even if it is a uh, even if it is a large uh, array uh, we still translate uh, uh, this text into this one record or one vector in higher dimensional space for example imagine we have this news articles right so each news article whether it contain 1000 uh, words or just uh, 50 words we are going to represent it in this word embedding space and the distance between these points uh, etc will determine uh, how close these documents are to each other the semantic similarity uh, etc etc so this model uh, it has uh, it written this tensor and uh, uh, this embeddings uh, the number of uh, i mean the vector size it's this uh, 768 okay uh, the sequence length and the hidden dimensions yeah and these days uh, a very common task using uh, the very famous uh, diffusion models is text to image so given text as a prompt it will generate images now hugging face uh, the spaces uh, they do have a number of models already for example if i say most likes so this first model itself uh, it's a stable diffusion model uh, which takes text as an input and written an image right uh, the mid journey dal e uh, the stable diffusion uh, leonardo ai etc they are all using uh, very similar models under the hood now hugging face don't have this capability in the form of pipelines yet uh, but i think uh, soon they are going to add uh, 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 this text to image in the near future okay uh that's all so far we have covered all the functionalities or uh, all the models uh, which are available in the form of these pipelines uh which are here right so we have covered the multimodal uh in the present video we have covered we started with natural language processing and then covered computer vision and then audio and finally uh, we just looked at uh, the multimodal uh Uh, transformers uh that conclude uh, this video series but as i mentioned if hugging face add more models to these pipelines i will be creating new videos thank you very much uh, do check out my other video series on data science machine learning feature engineering uh, aws sagemaker etc Thank you very very much and good luck